Welcome back. In this video, we are going to display our data using a graph. So we are going to implement graph in our project. So let's get started. So this is the final one. So if I hover my mouse on the section, you see that I have income, do you have the record, the number and expenses like that. So this is what we are going to do in this video. So the package we are going to use is called React Chart 2. Okay. Let's call this React Chart 2 NPM. So let's search for that and then let's install this package. So let's go through how it's been used, right? Okay, so if you install it, then the usage. All what you need is you you pull the kind of chart you want, whether donut, pie chart, or, or bar chart, right? And then passing your data. So let's look at example here. As you can see, um, let's go down and all right. So as you can see here, you're passing the data. You, here you are using a bar chart. You're passing the data and the height of it, and then some cool stuff here. I don't want to waste my time here. So let me show you how simple I am going to implement this in this project. Okay. So first of all, let's install the package. So John add this react chart two, and let's go back to our terminal. Let me shut down my server, clear the console and paste. And now react chart two is installing. So <clears throat> let's go to the GitHub repository and see some documentation about that. Okay, so if you scroll down here, as we saw, oh, let me show you, okay. And let's look at the example, okay. So example, so let's go to see these examples and let's check it out. Oh, I, forgot, I forgot the actual page for the React chat. Okay, it's here. So for the basic, we have pie chart. This is what we use. So you click on pie chart. You see, this is what we have. This is what we're going to implement. So open source code. And then as you can see here, <coughs> so we're going to base our structure on this one to create our way. So all what you're doing here is what? They required the package and then the data. And here gives the label. The label in what case are expenses and income. So we're going to remove all this one and just write income expenses. And then we have data set here, all right, border. And then you call pie chart and it pass in your data, right? So let's do it quickly. So I'm going to copy the whole of these ones and then use it in our project, right? So Mm, yes, so let's copy this ones. I'm gonna tap everything from scratch here. Give you the so let's copy this one. Then let me show you. So let's restart our server. Yarn start a yarn watch. Oh, sorry, on my side, on my side, I need to install it inside, inside the client side. Oh, sorry. And let me install the chart too. Sorry guys. That is a mistake I made. It needs to be installed inside the client. Alright. So let's wait. Oh, it's installing. Okay, cool. Clear. Go back and then let me rumble the server and the client. Yarn watch. Okay. So why this? So let's go back to the project here. And then in here, <coughs> let's create a, a, a folder for it, a folder for that, the component. So let me call this one uh, graph data. Okay. Where am I typing it? So here gonna be graph data. So it can be anything. And then let's paste what you copied and then here. Okay, so let's go through step by step and show you. All right, so first of all, we are using pie chart. This is what we want. And the labels here, <coughs> we need income. First of all, I bring expenses and then income. Okay. 
and let's remove all these ones you don't need it all right cool and for the label the label here is let's call this one expense right expense here okay and for the data set here you see that we have array of items here right so in our case we are going to use the total number of income and expenses oh sorry i have to create a function for it oh it's here it's here okay i got it so for this one we need to pass in the data the total number of income and expenses to this but because this object is outside our callback function here sorry our, our component so let's rename this one call this one graph data okay graph data here okay so we need to we need to access that we need to pass in the income and then the expense right the total expense total income here so you can make it total income or total expense okay so here we need to bring this one inside our component because of what scoping okay so inside the inside the component let's paste the data in there oh i think i have an error here undo it let's undo oh okay here just returning um jsx like that so let's return as object right so the graph here gonna be let's return um objects here the normal components all right so normal component and as that oh let me see the structure of it well okay so i want to convert this one to normal i mean okay normal components right so my object and then bring it here as an okay so now it's going to return my gsx okay cool so now i can bring in my data the reason why i'm bringing inside my component is i want to pass the total number of income as prop when i when i call this okay now i got it so in place of this data i want to use what we pass in right so here income and expense and that is pretty much all what we need to do and that is it right and we also have some styling we are not going to use their styling here or better still you can use it their styling so let's remove this link we don't need it we don't need it here and then let's change this one to h3 and make this one as transactions okay transactions okay so now let's use this component and see what we have so graph data exports as that so let's use this data and see so where can we use it so let's check where is my okay here let's refresh everything's intact oh okay oh expense starts we need to check can you read the data off so let's go to dashboard data 15 dashboard because at the time the component get mounted the data are not available yet all what you need to do is just make chaining so it means that if this account and grab the the expenses statistics and grab total expenses. so to be avoid using an operator so because i have explained this one couple of times so here just print question mark in front of them okay to avoid that error you have to wait so it means that if there is account details and there's expenses then grab the minimum expense so let's check again we have all of them here the same thing applies to this so let's check the same thing applies to we have this one here let's check that's called chaining right so let's also check this and let's also check this 
and let's also check you see it makes our code clean than using the n operator n n n operator so let's save it and see what we have check it out now it's working right so now let's place the graph data here and see how it's going to be appear on our page so if you go to dashboard data here above here i have a section called graph here so when you place a graph here line number 21 so let's require the graph let's call this one is it graph data yes okay the auto import is working imported above here okay cool so let's place the graph here call this one graph data <laughs> and remember you need to pass in income and expense so with this let's check it out what we have okay okay nothing was returned from render this really means statement <clears throat> or render nothing written now okay so i think it's from our this one this so <clears throat> before return a component here sorry let's return as it's, it's a normal um component right like that return okay okay like that so let's check it out again okay as you can see we have the graph here you see but there's no data in because there's no i didn't pass in my income and expense so when i call this function call this component i need to pass in my income so as you mean let's pass in some value let's call this one 30 and expense let's also say 20 so let's see what we have there we go you see we have um we have what the 20 and we have 30 and look at how big the graph is so let's make it a little bit smaller so i'm going to use our custom css for the graph so here for the graph i'm going to pass the header here we don't need the uh, styling we're going to use our own styling okay so let's remove this one and then the title here we don't need you here okay so i'm going to paste my custom css inside inline styling so inside the div here i'm going to paste sorry <clears throat> i'm going to paste this style so you can pause this video and type sorry yeah this one so i gave it a display flex and then hide this one with and just by content so with this let's check it out what we have let's refresh the application better still didn't obey my instruction right so i think we need to do more oh the structure is wrong this one might be a parent it might be inside sorry it must be inside this it was outside my yes there we go now it's somewhere here <clears throat> so i don't want to waste my time on the other styles okay so you can style it based on your need so and okay let's continue and then let's put this one into a div it was i use it's okay so we can we can work around to style this a little what i want is the functionalities okay so now let's pass in the actual data so we need total expenses total income and total total expenses and total income right so other than passing passing in this this number so how can we get it so for the expense remember we have expenses this expensive data here so for the expense this this one let's pass in this and here i want dot what total record so let's look at the property on that total expense is here so dot total expense but let's check first so the same thing applies to the um income so let's check where we have the income and quickly <coughs> take it 
So we have the income section here, this one, total income. Copy that. And for the graph here, let's paste the total income here. And there you go. That is all what we need to do. So now let's refresh. Now, if I full amount on it, we see we have this amount and this amount. Okay. So if you look at the final one, this is what we have. All right, this is what we have. And we are going to add, yeah, I think that's pretty much we need to do to so have that we have. So what, it, what has left is about formatting this and format amount, all right? And the last part even the, the profile. Okay, so let's work about the formatting of the amount in the next video and we work on the profile.